God, I should be having a rum and eggnog while I film this. Oh, do you want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Pass it on over, Eve. Mama V is flying over to get a rum and eggnog. Woo! My wonderful mother makes a delightful rum and eggnog with a real cinnamon stick. I'm so excited. It's like my favorite Ooh. holiday drink. Reminder, every time I like take a beverage or talk about alcohol, I feel like I need to remind everybody that I'm literally almost 27 years old. Ooh. Yes, I'm a baby face, but I'm almost 27. God, that pains me to say. Okay, we're gonna swiftly move on from my age. Okay. Yesterday was Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope that all of you who celebrate Christmas had a wonderful day And I hope all of you who do not celebrate Christmas, but maybe clicked on this video anyways because you would like to support me Thank you so much. I appreciate you had a wonderful day Anyways, this was a different Christmas for all of us. Let's be honest. Let's be real This whole year has been very different for all of us this Christmas, I didn't get to see my brother, which was the plan last Christmas. If you saw my what I got for Christmas last year, you know last year's Christmas looked very different from my family personally as well. It was our first Christmas without him. He spent Christmas with his girlfriend. And then this year, ooh, is that my drink? Mm -hmm. Cheers, my friends, cheers. Mm. Oh yeah, it's good stuff, that's good stuff. Tis the season, right? And so this holiday, this Christmas, they were him and his girlfriend were supposed to spend with us, but they live in Europe. And so obviously due to the pandemic, they weren't able to come out. So everything looked a little bit different this year, but my parents and I tried to make it as festive as possible with just the three of us. I feel like as Christmassy as it could. I'm very grateful that I got to see my dad. It's the first time in over 10 months. And honestly, like that in itself was a gift. Like that's all I really needed. So I feel very blessed to have received what I did, especially given the times. I know a lot of people are struggling financially more than ever. And I feel incredibly blessed that not only am I somebody who can still work, but my dad still has a job. My brother still has a job. You know, we're, we as a family have been very, very blessed. My mom still has a job because she works for me and I haven't fired Woo her quite yet. So <laughs> it's um, coming, it's coming. <laughs> and she's excited about it. She's, Retirement. She's, she's really pitching for it. Anyway, so um, I just feel very blessed. So I want to put that out there, but I really enjoy watching these videos every single year, honestly. like. For the past few weeks, I've been watching the What I Got for Christmas 2019s. And I know next year I'll be watching the What I Got for Christmas 2020s because it really gets me in the spirit. I don't know. As you guys know, I've talked about this many times. Gift giving is my love language. I love giving gifts and being inspired by seeing what other people got. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is my third year doing it. And I guess I'll just start with my pajamas and then I'll go to my stocking. Because the pajamas, we open pajamas every Christmas Eve. And so I got these on... December 24th so that way we can wear the pajamas and then we wake up Christmas morning in a new pair of PJs So I think these are really cute. My mom picked them up at Nordstrom. They're cream. Is it cream? Cream background kind of uh, more white, white really. I, I would say white. Yeah Okay, so they're white long sleeve nice and thin and really soft with peach snowflakes And then the bottoms are like a light peach color with white snowflakes and they have like the scrunchy ruching at the bottom of the ankle and they're just really comfy and cozy. Here's my stocking. Yes, it's adorable. I love this stocking so much. I think it's so cute. Peach actually, the peach heart, so it goes with oh, the Oh, do we twin? Yeah. Cute. Yeah, it's very coordinated. I have not had the same stocking my whole life. I've had a couple of different stockings throughout my life. This one we got a couple of years ago and it was from Pottery Barn Kids. It's my aesthetic, what can I say? I already started eating this. I'm not even gonna pretend. Like, I already dug into this. This is a Terry's Chocolate Orange. I get one every single year at the bottom of my stocking. I love it. I love it. I love it. I stand behind Terry's Chocolate Orange. Comment below if that is a tradition in your family to get either a real orange or a chocolate orange from Terry's. Let me know. In other exciting news, face cloths. I always need these, all right? I always need face cloths. I, I switch my face cloth every single day because if I don't, I get acne. Every single day, once I've used one, I put it into the laundry bin. So I just always need a constant stack in my bathroom. Something else that I am so excited I got, and I haven't even officially opened yet. Maybe I should open to show you guys what they look like. But it is a pack of reusable glitter straws. I somehow, like I had so many of these, didn't I? Yeah, I had so many reusable straws and poof. They all disappeared at once. So I think it, somebody might have thought they were just a regular straw. Are you saying my boyfriend? Because <laughs> he doesn't know, Neve. He's not stupid. He knows what a reusable straw is. Where did they is. go? 
I don't know Neve, but my boyfriend did not move in and throw out all my reusable straws. He's <laughs> sorry, smarter Adrian, than that. Sorry, Adrian. <laughs> Jesus. He knows what a reusable straw is, Neve. Okay, so here they are. This is just a sample. There's a bunch more in there as well as like a cleaner for them. But it's just a bunch of plastic reusable straws and they're colorful, all different colors, and they're sparkly. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but they're literally like glitter straws. You can find these for like less than $10 for a whole bunch of them and it's really so much better for the environment. So highly recommend and I think these are so fun that it's glittery because you know everybody knows I love glitter. So the next thing in my stocking is something very 2020. Fingers crossed I won't need these in my next stocking, but they're just a bunch of masks because we do our part in this family. We wear masks always and you know, you can never have too many. These are from Airy by American Eagle. This that one? Looks so cute. Which one's this one, Mom? That's the one with the print on it. And then. I feel the way around. <laughs> eee, there we go. And then everything else in my stocking, just like that stuff, is just like highly useful. That's what I love to get in my stocking. Such an adult. This is incredibly exciting. I love Hello products. I love their mouthwash. This floss is the greatest floss, it's very waxy which is what good floss should be. That's what grips onto the food between your teeth and pulls it out. Life lessons with Molly's. Hello toothbrush. We got, ooh, ooh guys, I was so excited. La Vanilla deodorant. This is a all natural healthy deodorant. It doesn't have a ton of stuff in it. There's like a whole list of stuff that it doesn't contain that most do. And this one's my favorite. I think it's my favorite scent too. Vanilla grapefruit. This is really pricey, so I appreciate getting it in my stocking. Mini Listerine for when I I'm able to travel again. Maybe it's a sign I have bad breath. I don't know. <laughs> and toothpaste. We got some Hello Toothpaste. Is that the right way? No. You got this. Boom. Hello Toothpaste. And then the last thing in my stocking is scrunchies. A bunch of black scrunchies. I always need black scrunchies. I don't know. They just disappear. They just get up and walk away. I don't know what happens to them, you guys. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I lost about 15 to 20 pounds this year. And so none of my bras fit. And I went from a 30D to a 30B. 30 Band sizes are hard enough to find as is, and then you make it a B. Like a lot of brands that do make 30s start at a 30C. So going down to a 30B has made it really hard to find bras. So I only had one bra. Literally I had one bra, my only bra, I wore it every single day. And so my parents got me a second one of the same bra, because again, very hard to find ones. But it is a, it has no underwire, it's super comfortable. I'm wearing it right now. It's just a skin tone, like to my skin tone. It's a nude for my skin tone. This is the company. Can they see that, mom? I believe so, yes. Boom. Yeah. Anyways, also from Nordstrom, very grateful to have two bras now. And if anybody has recommend recommendations for a 30B bra for a strapless bra, that would be great because I'm highly in need. Next. Well, let's just do what I got myself. This was a big gift to myself. And I was, I was shocked that I did this for myself. I couldn't believe it when I opened it. I was like, oh my God, Molly, you shouldn't have. Um, but I did. So uh, I'm really excited. My phone was an iPhone 8 and it had a bit of water damage from the beginning of quarantine. Being the blind girl I am, I poured a glass of water and spilled the glass of water and then my phone was sitting next to the glass of water but I didn't know that I spilled the glass of water so I didn't know my phone was sitting in water. So it ended up damaging it a bit. So I just really needed a new phone. I've had it for years. Obviously it was an eight, we're now on 12s. So mine was quite dated. So I upgraded myself to an iPhone 12 mini and honestly, it's a dud. I don't know if it's all the iPhone 12 minis or if it's my 12 mini. I'm gonna have to call Apple and figure it out, but there's lots of problems with it, unfortunately. I got the red color, which I just thought was spicy. And that's what I needed in my life in 2020. I needed to spice things up. You know, being blind, like I don't need a big screen. So I was really excited that they came out with such a small phone. And then I got this case for it that kind of matches the color. And I got it just because I'm waiting to receive, I make cases, my merch, I have a bunch of different cases. So I'm waiting to get a shipment sent to me of my phone cases in the 12 mini size. And then I also just got myself a fast charger for it because they're, I think, $20. And honestly, to get a faster charge for 20 bucks, worth it to me. I'm very excited that I treated myself to that this holiday season. Where do I wanna go next? Why don't I just show you what Santa got me? Apparently Santa thinks my makeup game is not on point. 
He got me a bunch of makeup, which honestly was much needed. I don't need much makeup, but the makeup I did get was makeup I did actually need, like things that I was out of. And it's fun because I haven't had any of these products in years. A lot of the makeup artists I work with use these products on me, but I didn't actually, I haven't bought from MAC makeup in years. And Santa got me a bunch. So I got this mascara from MAC. Also this powder, setting powder from MAC, Mineralized Skin Finish, which I have not owned one of these in years. I haven't used it yet, but somehow Santa knew my skin tone. So well done, Santa. Very excited to give that a try. I have zero pressed setting powders at the moment. I only have loose setting powders and I do like to have a pressed one on hand. So really happy to have that. And then lippies. I went through so many lipsticks and I had like no browns or pinks left. Very strange. I got a bunch of lippies, um, mostly from MAC and one from Patrick Ta, I believe, who I've never tried. So this is the one from Patrick Ta. It's this lip gloss. What kind of color is this one, Mom? Beautiful, it's a shimmery, and looks like the color that you're wearing actually just a little darker. Oh. Like a beautiful peachy brown, it's gorgeous. Very excited, and what is this one called? Patrick Ta. And it's, she's an influencer. Oh, I wonder why Santa got this for me. <laughs> huh. Maybe my editor could be so kind as to pop up photos from like the Sephora website or Mac website so you guys can actually properly see them. Then I got this lipstick. Which color is this, Mom? Flesh, natural color? Flesh. <laughs> natural. Flesh. Not flesh. That sounds it's, disgusting. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, no, it's more It's again, human flesh. It's, it's a peachy color. <laughs> can you read the name to us? It's A79, I can tell you that, which is probably the important part. Cream cup. Cream cup. Cream, cream cup. cup. Oh my god, I haven't had a cream cup in years. Um, and then I got this one. Mom, you must be jealous that I got so much lip product. Because oh. my mom is the lip product Are they all MAC? Yes. Oh, you know me and MAC, I just love MAC. I love that you're acting surprised that they're all MAC when you know for a fact that they're <laughs> Santa. Like, let's be honest. No, I like that, but you know, honestly, I buy these things in advance, like way back. So then I forget what I've gotten. <laughs> and then she wraps them and just puts them under the tree and forgets. What's that one called, mom? Oh, that's a lovely color too, isn't it? That's the Angel. same one. <laughs> gorgeous. Then I got this Ooh, lip gloss. Gorgeous, yes. Let my mom read the shade name on that to us as well. Go to Delight. 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 Never had that before. Then I got this color. And what's that one called, me? Oyster Girl. Ah, and then we got this one. Mm, that's gorgeous too. Oh, what's that one? Nymphette. Ah, a little nymphette. I can see that my Santa um, <laughs> asked my makeup artist. Because, yes, I did. Uh, Santa, shh, because my makeup artist is obsessed with nymphette. So that's really funny. I've never owned it, but I'm excited to. So those were all kind of like basic everyday lippies that I just was completely out of. I'm excited. I just didn't have anything like those anymore. From my mom and dad, I got the most epic rain boots I've ever seen in my life. You guys, it's a high heel rain boot. Ow, I hurt my finger. <laughs> I got too excited. I'm obsessed with these. These are shiny Chelsea boot and they are a chunky heel. I would say two inches, mom? Yeah, about two and a half. I'm stoked about these because it's so hard to look stylish in rain boots. Let's just be honest. It's really hard to like actually look put together and cute in rain boots. But I feel like these would just look like any kind of like shiny boot. I feel like I could wear these when it's raining, when it's not raining, and they're obviously made for rain, so they're really grippy on the bottom, so despite the fact that they're a heel, I won't slip. In case anyone is wondering, that's the, the boot. I believe they're Jeffrey Campbell. I love Jeffrey Campbell. Jeffrey Campbell definitely are some of my favorite shoes. If you want some of these, they're nice. nicely with your um, lavender gift that you're gonna get. Ah, yes. Let me show you next what lavender pie my kitten got me. Would you like to pass it over, Neve? Lavender, are you wearing a hat? 100% the reason Lavender Pie picked this for me is because it matches her. She picked this up from Aerie, I believe. Thanks, good taste, Lavender Pie. And it is this adorable <laughs> hat. It's so cute. Isn't it cute? It looks so cute on you. I feel very cute. And it's very like her coloring, right? And it's like she a... knows that when you put it on, she can play with it. You see? Yes, she'll be able to yeah. fiddle with the little balls. Yeah. And it's so soft. It's so soft. And she got me matching mittens which is great oh my god they're like very soft thank you thank you thank you lavender honey pie the third next we have what gallup got me and i am obsessed with these gallup <laughs> did real well this year really great. boom they are these combat boots they that are gorgeous aren't they? right a patent leather 
with this like silver zipper detail around the bottom. They have kind of a platform. It's not so edgy. Not really, but a little bit. And a then wedge. I wouldn't call it a wedge. It's whatever. It's like a little baby platform. And then these little like silver studs around here. And then it does have a zip inside to put them on, which is so lovely to not have to undo all these laces. And these are Michael Kors boots. I adore them. I think they're so cute. I am really excited to style these boots. I don't really have anything like them in my closet. I am excited that I got spoiled to two new pairs of boots. Next, I will show you what my brother got me. Usually my brother gets me um, something from anthropology, like a candle and a mug, something like that. He's gotten me so many beautiful pieces from anthropology over the years. They are my favorite pieces that I have in my kitchen collection or in my apartment. Like I just treasure them so, so, so much. But this year, because he couldn't be here, it was hard to like send stuff over. And so instead of sending like things that could break, I got a bunch of Lush, which I'm never upset about. So I got some shower bombs. He knows I love Lush. Everybody knows I love Lush. I got some giant, I think this is a bath bomb. I've never had that one before. And then boom, two more bath bombs. So I got three bath bombs and two shower bombs and I will be enjoying one of those tonight. My boyfriend and I exchanged gifts a few weeks back at, we actually exchanged gifts on Thanksgiving because we aren't spending Christmas together and I left LA on like December 8th and we wanted to sh ex like exchange gifts at a time that was still a celebration. So we were like, Thanksgiving is still a holiday and we're celebrating with turkey, so it's kind of like Christmas. So we exchanged gifts then and if you want to see what I got him, you can watch the What I Got My Friends and Family for Christmas video. He surprised me with a piece of jewelry, which is really, really, really special because I love jewelry and I've been collecting my pieces for years and it means so much to me to now have a piece on my wrist from him that I wear every single day. I never take it off. And it is from one of my absolute favorite jewelry stores in Beverly Hills called 14 Carat. And I'll get a close up of it, but it is this thin rose gold, solid rose gold chain and then there's a solid rose gold bar that is covered in colored gems. There is like rubies and a bunch of other birthstones and gemstones, real gemstones. And so yeah, it's like a gradiated, a gradient rainbow or like a gradient of color, which is just very me and it made me want the matching ring. That's now officially on my list to put as a stacking ring with this is the matching Ooh. rose gold and rainbow diamond oh, that'd be ring. Cool. And when my necklace that I wear is not broken, it has a rainbow with rainbow gemstones as well. Ooh. So it kind of all ties together and it's rose gold. So I feel like it really like all goes together and I think it's so colorful and fun and very me and just very special. So huge thank you to my boyfriend, Adrian, to my friends and family, to anybody who gifted me something. I feel so, so, so incredibly fortunate this year to have received anything because again, I know this year has been a real struggle for many, many people. So more than ever, I just feel incredibly blessed. And like I said, seeing seeing my dad was a blessing and a gift in and of itself. So the fact that they got me anything um, and tried to make this year so special really means a lot. So thank you to everybody. I hope you all had a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video. If you want more Molly, you can click over here for my Gallup announcement video and over here, for uh, my experience going to a school for the blind. So check those out and I'll see you next time.